In this section, we are going to talk about Office 365 with group policy object and telemetry with user security. For the first video, we are going to talk about how to configure a group policy object or GPO to distribute the custom installation. Which means that if we have a domain controller, we can distribute the installation through our domain computers. What is needed? We need the following in order to distribute the installation on our domain. A domain controller, a PC or a virtual machine that has been added to the domain. So, switch to your domain controller and let's begin. On your Windows server, click Tools. Click Active Directory Users and Computers. On the Active Directory Users and Computers, you can see here I have just one PC, but I will create a new organizational unit with right click on your domain name. Click New. Click Organizational Unit. I will call it Desktops. Click OK. I will now move the computer from the organizational unit of computers. Right click on it, click Move. And move it to desktops. Click OK. And the computer is moved here. Now I will link a group policy to this organizational unit. So click Tools. Then go to Group Policy Management. Open Group Policy Management, the forest or the name of your domain and click on the organizational unit that we created. Right click on it and click on create a GPO in this domain and link it here. Click on it and call it install office. Click OK. Now right click on the group policy and click edit. Click computer configuration. Double click on policies. Double click on Windows settings and you can see here scripts. On the Group Policy Management Editor, double-click on Startup, click Add. I will now browse a script, but because I do not have any scripts here, I will create a folder on my DC that is called New Folder Scripts. In Scripts, I will create a new text document. I will right-click on the new text document, click Edit. And I will enter a command that will launch the file that we created earlier, if you guys can remember, because we created an auto installation of Office 365 in the previous section. I copied the files, you can see here, local disk, which with the name storage, Office 16, and there are the files that can launch the office installation auto office install if you can remember if you do not remember just switch back to the last section of the installation of the office 365 so i will now enter a command that will help me launch this xml file so the first part is the name of the server where it's located so the storage server or the domain controller or so on then the folder and the setup exe file that is located in that folder. Last, configure the auto install XML file that is located also in the folder. I will save as all files and I will save it as install office.bat. Click save and click close. This is the install office and I will now click on it and click open. Install office.bat and click OK. Apply and OK. So let's go back to the group policy management. Right click on the install office, click edit. I will now make some more edits. So click on computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, security settings, local policies, and security options. In security options, try to find user account control user account control behavior of the elevation prompt for administrators admin approval mode so double click on it click define this policy settings and elevate without prompting click apply and click ok then you go to admin approval mode for built-in administration accounts double click on it Click Define this policy settings and click Disabled. So this is for the user control admin approval mode for built-in administrator account. Click Apply and click OK. 
And so now go to administrative templates, policy definitions, double click on it, then go to system, try to find scripts, there it is, then select the specify maximum wait time for group policy scripts, click enabled, tell it to be after 600 seconds, or if you wish you can select a number between 0 and 32,000. I will select it to be 600, click OK. So this is all for the group policy configuration. Just close it down, right click on it and click enforce. Do you want to change the enforce settings for this GPO? Click OK. I will now enforce this to be applied on every PC that is located in this organizational unit. So let's go to the PC that is added to the domain and is located in this organizational unit. So launch it and run it as the administrator or the user, whichever user you created. On your desktop PC, launch start, then enter CMD, run as administrator. In the command prompt type force, which will force the group policy that we just created on the the main controller to be launched on this PC. Type enter. It's now updating the policy. After this, you need to restart your PC and wait for 600 seconds or 10 minutes for the installation to start of the Office 365. It's now finished. Click close and I will now restart my PC.